Now, Liverpool hit the training pitch on Monday as they prepare to face Ajax Amsterdam in their second Champions League group match. The Reds were trounced by Napoli 4-1 in their first Champions match and are hoping to bounce back at Anfield later today. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp went as far as to say the 4-1 loss at Napoli last week was the worst game we played since I was here, adding that analysis, analyzing the match was akin to watching a horror film with at least eight players playing below their level. Klopp and crew will have their work cut out for them, with Ajax undefeated in all their league games and sitting top of the Eredivisie standings. Liverpool are also dealing with a string of injuries with fullback Andy Robertson, the latest on that list. Look, there's a reason why many managers don't last as long as the likes of Arsene Wenger and even the almighty Sir Alex Ferguson. Spending 10 years, 20 years at any club is so difficult for modern managers, and certainly modern players do not make it any easier. Standards drop, and it is always the, the nature of the game that managers always have to go out and refresh the team with one or two players every season. So Alex Ferguson always brought a player practically every season, at least one. The team always needs to be refreshed. And while Liverpool have gotten new blood into the team, Luis Diaz, it does not seem that Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunes, these two players are enough to stave off the decay that seems to be happening to the Liverpool squad. They famously lost a great player in Sadio Mane, and the midfield continues to be the weakest part of the team. Liverpool play through the wings with the virtue of having such strong passes of the ball and uh, uh, um, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson. But even Arnold isn't playing very well. Robertson is on the injured list, and the midfield has famously always been problematic. Not the, not the greatest uh, playmaking ability in that midfield. Thiago, Thiago Alcantara came into the team and became automatically the best playmaker in the team. But he's over 30, and he's currently injured. Klopp needs an perhaps you could blame the manager, that he ought to have made more of an effort in bringing more midfielders into the team before the close of the window. We don't know how well or how badly they're going to do against Ajax tonight, but if they lose, will Klopp still be able to hold on to that untouchable position of managing Liverpool? He can definitely get them out of the out of any slump that they're in and Liverpool can go again in January, go again in the summer and try to build and challenge again next next season. But if you slip in this very delicate top six race for the top four, it will be very difficult to keep up.